Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Casts. Today we're going to be casting everybody's favorite Terran player. It's Scan. You know him, you love him. We've done tons of his games, but not recently actually. I haven't had many Scan games recently. But here he is playing as Terran on Invader, and he's going to be going up against Noob here in the top left. Both these guys have been in ASL but are not regularly in, right? So they're those borderline guys where it's like, okay, the future is probably these guys, uh, but the present, not quite as much. Both very strong players. Should be a good one on a map that's generally pretty action-packed. You don't see many slow games on Invader. Uh, so guys, thank you much for watching Artosis Casts. Thank you for leaving comments and liking the video, for subscribing. You know, for, for passing the word around about it. it. It, like, really, really helps. The channel's been doing well lately. A lot of people have been watching, uh, giving feedback, still working on making this uh, the best possible channel that it can be. And I hope to do it forever. So thank you guys so very much for that. Now, here we go. A very quick probe scout over here. He's going to be going for a forward gateway plus a, an offensive gas. Right? Good combo on a map like this. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with such a build. Now, here he comes for the gas. You'll wait a moment. Because you can't really get gas at like 1 minute 30 seconds. So you have to cancel an SCV if you want to do that. I don't know if Scan will actually cancel. Yeah, he doesn't decide to cancel. He decides, you know what? That's fine. Just take it. Not not playing that game <laughs> of, of trying to snag my own gas and get harassed all day by the probe. Uh, you really lose a lot of economy by doing that. So... He's going to go ahead and let that occur. He really needs to repair that SCV as well. Woo! That SCV get a little bit low. A little bit low. Uh, but is being repaired out in this probe getting low as well. So, offensive gas openers. Okay, let's talk about what we're looking at here. Uh, with the offensive gas, the most... The, like, what is currently believed to be, and in practice is the strongest thing that you can do, with a forward gateway into offensive gas and not like a super forward gateway it's not like a proxy gateway but more just you know the zalts will get there a little bit quicker because the gateway is not here right so that's that's considerable <laughs> uh but anyways the strongest thing to do with something like this is generally like two to three zalts into a nexus and scan is not actually doing anything to block that right now he probably assumes that's what's going to occur he's putting down the bunker very very quickly as you must do he hasn't even scouted yet. He's really optimizing for minerals at the moment. Making non-stop marines, getting his bunker up. And look at this, here comes the probe. It's two zealots. Two zealots are out. They're just saying hi to each other because you know the SCV like walked past the probe in the zealot. Uh, and it's gonna walk past here as well and see that nexus. So there is the nexus started. Again, only one marine in this bunker, which can be a problem. Uh, the Zalots may decide to just run past. Now, brings the SCV down. And in fact, he is going for more Marines, even more than can fit in a bunker. Not surprised to see that. I do think that five to six Marines are the proper play here because people always do this. So you notice he just runs by, barely takes any hull damage uh, on the Zalots. And just going to run right in. Now, it's two Marines against two Zalots. Obviously, the two Zalots absolutely destroy the two Marines. Uh, he does bring up another Marine from that bunker, and he is making another Marine as well. So, lots of micro required, but it is doable. Ooh, taking some damage right there. Yeah, the Zealot's getting on top a little bit. Looks like the uh, Zealot... Yeah. It's... It's doing a good job. Like, this is this is highly annoying for Scan, right? He finally has his gas up. He'll start mining that gas and in about 20 seconds start a factory. And that's incredibly important for him to get that up as quickly as possible. He's actually, because of the micro, he missed putting on the SCVs just a little bit. You know, it's not a huge delay, but it's something. Zalt continues to be run around. Uh, SCV right now going in for a scout. But there's actually a third Nexus started at 4 minutes and like 30 seconds. A little bit before that anyways. That is the fastest third Nexus I think I've ever seen. Yeah, that's... So, what does Protoss have right now? Literally zero units. Not even a joke. Zero units. He sent... He walked two Zalts by. So, he went forward gate, stole the gas, walked two Zalts by, ran them around in there, and made a third Nexus. 
And so like he literally made this with zero attacking units. He's up by three workers right now. And yeah, his first dragoon is about to pop out. There it is. <laughs> a little after five minutes. Just to put this in, in context, guys, your first dragoon pops out at three minutes and 12 seconds with a normal build. So that's his first one at five minutes. Uh, now, Scan is adding some factories. Here is the problem. Okay. His factory is obviously a little bit slow because of the offensive gas. But this economy is going to hit pretty quickly, right? He's going robo. He actually should go four gate robo here. That is going to be probably the best play that that noob could do. Just four gateway dragoons plus observers uh, to kind of stabilize the game. There, I mean, I could see a world in which he does something like tries to get quick reaver as as like a stabilizing unit. But honestly, I think the four gate is going to be correct. Either way, uh, if you look at Scan's position, it's not like he's in a position to attack. And in a game like this, oftentimes you just need to get siege mode quickly. And he is getting siege mode quickly because if Noob just went two gate range Dragoon instead of this third Nexus, like if he had started Dragoons as this finished and just went two gate range, which is a pretty common follow up, there would be about five goons hitting this before your tank is ready with siege. Uh, now that's not the case, but Scan has to prepare for that so he doesn't just die. He also has to prepare for quick reaver drops. So you see him throwing down some missile turrets, right? Prepare That prepares you for DT and uh, for reaver drop. This is an excellently placed when you float a building here and shuttles can't hug the wall and just fly in without any damage. Anyways, what is happening here is Scan isn't going to have any attack timings, right? So it's going to be kind of a tough game because he's going to have to get very high in supply to have any chance to attack. This is going to be completely safe for Noob, this very quick third base which means his macro is going to hit and it's going to hit like a sledgehammer. Now, that does not mean that the game is over. I want to make sure I'm I'm describing this this accurately. It's just that noob should be able to shoot way up in supply. You can already see it happening, right? 72 against 57. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Uh scan is going to go up to 5 factory, which I think is exactly correct here. Uh you know, he's already getting the plus 1, he's getting his scanner. And getting into the five factories, basically, no matter what he figures out his opponent's doing, because there's no way for him to really know, right? Like, if you send a scout, it just gets blocked. Yeah, you could maybe figure out he has a third base, but you don't really know his tech or what he's making in there until you get scans. But basically, whatever he's against, five factory gives him a chance against, right? Whereas, like, let's say that you went, like, let's say you went seven factories, right? Well... It, you know, if your opponent's doing nothing but making units, maybe you get size storm, something like that, you're going to be in trouble. Let's say he goes like three factory command center. Uh, well, if your opponent is going heavy units, you're not going to have enough, right? He is adding a six factory here. I think right now he's leaning into maybe doing like an all-in push, which is very good on Invader, by the way. Uh, if you look at the third bases for Protoss, like if Terran can take this position, this base dies. Uh, you know, you siege some here. This is buildable terrain, so you can build missile turrets and you can just kind of push up. Uh, if Protoss takes this base, and obviously you get onto this platform, you can kill this base pretty easily. So I like the six factory play. He is making a lot of units. This is like he may, as he scans and figures out what's going on, think about doing something else. Think about taking a third base. But honestly, like I just heard a scan and looking in here. The fact that Noob is still, right? He made this Nexus more than four minutes ago. And he's added, he has gone into the four gate, like I mentioned. So he's gone like four gate plus observer into Reaver. But he's taken his uh, his fourth com uh, Nexus very, very quickly. So it's basically four gate production plus a Robo right now against six factory production. So I think that scan, this is like, this is his one opportunity to get out there and do something with an attack. Uh, after this, like if he doesn't nail this, well, there's not a whole lot after that because like he's on 41 probes. He doesn't have a third command center. He's got to make this work. So scan right now, moving forward with his attack. This, this is what they would call in the old cast of Korean games. People might remember Ehan timing. <laughs> this one timing, this is literally it for scan. The, all windows are going to close after this. Look at the amount of gateways going up. Look at the economy that we're getting right now for noob. So he's getting into a position here. Like, he might not even push this space. He might just go for the kill. That actually would make more sense. And, in fact, he is moving towards that position. 
getting up here the dragoons have to pull back now this is a bad position for noob what do you do you have maybe a few flanking dragoons but half of your production's right here right and it's going it's going to be completely killed noob like he's trying to macro out of here real quick and he is he's doing a reaver drop across the map doesn't look like he's getting too much yet but the reaver drop is not the same as this push if this push gets to the bottom of this ramp there's no production outside so you simply hold on to the con uh, the contain and kill everything else looks like the reaver is going to go to the natural still going to deal a lot of damage here oh my god that's a huge scare nine kills on that one he is starting to push into this nexus as well so it looks like scan's going to kill a couple bases so much damage has been dealt by the reaver drop i do have to point out right he's killed like more than 20 scvs with this reaver drop so far <coughs> and scans yeah you can see scans economy look he's down in the low 20s at this point so a terrible position for sure but his push is so incredibly strong right now this game is still winnable he's got to finish him with the push honestly what you do right now this is like triage right like you get the shuttle out of here you rally everything and you probably only make vultures like maybe you make a goliath or something but probably just get as many units over here as quickly as you can for the rest of the game the reaver still getting damage oh my god 21 workers remain still has the shuttle still has the reaver pretty crazy honestly like scans push has killed this nexus it's killed this nexus there's this base remaining. He's going to have to utilize speed shuttles. Honestly, I would love to see him throw down like a second robo or something like that just to be able to get units out more quickly because I don't know if he'll break this. So he's going to he's gonna have to just use mobility. Look at that, 19 kills on one reaver. So it ends up with nearly 30 kills on his reaver drop. 22 workers to 39, but it is two base here for Protoss still. And here we go. He's going to try to break through. <coughs> vultures and tanks coming up the bunker definitely doing a good job as well the buildings in the way the zealots have eaten a lot of damage thus far targeting with those siege tanks that are sieged on the dragoons very very good plays oh a lot of zealots coming out does he have enough to actually break through here if scan can hold this position this is still absolutely a game he can win can he hold on to his turrets and bunkers okay he goes down to just three siege tanks but more units are coming another siege tank there he has three tanks in his main base that he definitely should send up. Yeah, it looks like Noob is just going to GG. Nothing really left for him. Uh, if I could, just for a moment here, if we just jump back, I do want to mention about this Nexus, right? If he redoes this, right? If you just, like, this is a 4 minute, 30 second Nexus, and the 4 gate follow up was very good. That would allow him to basically hold on against a quick 2 factory pressure or 4 factory pressure. But as this gets up into six factory and, you know, scan hits that big timing attack, this was a little bit too greedy, right? If scan is on six factory and instead of sitting here on the four gates, you go up to like, let's say eight gates on three base and you're producing and then scan scans it and sees the gateway count. He probably makes a third command center and the game just kind of goes forward normally. Uh, but when you scan and you see that your opponent has literally just four gates and you have six factories, that's a rare thing for, for Terran to have more production facilities than Protoss. And when that's the case, and when you actually have a standing army, that, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, too much talking without a drink there in a row. Uh, but when that occurs, that's when you want to attack. And Scan nailed that attack. He did it just right. If he had pushed here, he would have lost likely because there would have been time for Noob to do things over here. He pushed into the natural. He choked up everything set it up just right it was a close game uh but takes him down i think noob was just a bit too greedy after a very strong opening okay guys i hope you enjoyed this game of scan vs noob thanks for watching